So you have a broken go-kart mini bike or other device that runs on electricity that has a little speed box on it called an electronic speed controller. I'm gonna show you how to fix it and get it going, running a drill battery. Three things, DC motor, DC brush speed controller, and drill battery. The speed controller itself is very intimidating with all the lines, but all you really need to know is that this is the power in where you connect your battery leads, and this is the power to the motor. Another thing that is very important is there should be a three line three wire line and that will be your throttle control for a hall sensor throttle. Then you're going to have to figure out which one of these usually unlabeled connections is for your ignition switch. Once you have that you just have to make sure that the ignition switch is turned on, your power is all connected and this thing should run. And a little fun fact, this is uh, set rated for 24 volts but I run 40 volts and usually no problems. So these things can do a lot more than you expect if you can figure out the wiring. These 250 watt DC motors are a brushed motor and they run on a brush electronic speed controller. You can tell it is a two phase brush controller by the two power lines going to the motor. A three phase one will be things like scooters and skateboards and they will have three lines that go to the motor. But the process is basically the same. Most mini bikes, go-karts and electric machines will run on a two phase DC motor just like this, a 250 watt. Right, you'll have to use a little imagination here, but this is basically the wiring diagram here. As you can see, these lines will lead into the power, which will come into the unit right here. This line isn't connected to the motor, but that's where it will send the power from the, uh, to the motor. Uh, over here, we have it taped up just right here to the three lines of the throttle. You can wire those on, directly splice or connect them, it doesn't really matter. And then over here we have is what is suspected to be on off switch. Uh, now, if everything is all wired up correctly here, all you'll have to do is connect the power over here, turn on the on switch, and hit the throttle, and you will have power. All right, so in short, you have to make sure that your terminals are correctly aligned or you will fry the box. But power goes into these connectors, into the box. There is a connector back there that goes up to a kill switch here, and a connector up here that goes up to the throttle up here. Uh, there's one connector that you can't really see that goes up and underneath here that goes to the motor, and that powers the motor. So basically, turn on the power, give it a little throttle, and you're good to go. I've been using 40 volts in this 24 volt speed controller with no problems, but you can get them in 36 and 48 volt controllers as well. And just make sure that you check out your motor to see if it has three or two lines, because two lines is a two phase and three lines is a three phase. Uh, a brushed speed controller will only work on a two phase motor and a brushless one will only work on a three phase. So just keep that in mind. I'm also gonna throw these up in the bio for anybody interested looking for one. Mm -hmm.